Hello and welcome back to Pine City Avery. Today we're going to be going through Hyde White and uh, we're going to be grading the BMAP and uh, see what it looks like. But first, I let the smoker. And then get my veil on. And go check the bees. All right, we're gonna do a little B math today. Now, B math um, simply means how long does it take for an egg to, from the time it's laid until the time it emerges as a full bee. And uh, we're concerned about a queen bee in this case. So when an egg is laid, basically they have three days to make that into a queen. Otherwise it'll be just a regular worker bee. Once they decide they're going to make a queen, they will build a queen cell either around where that egg is already or sometimes they'll move it to a queen um, cell that they're building, swarm cell or something. After about eight days, that queen cell will be fully made and it'll be capped. And then uh, eight days after that, the queen should emerge. So if we go to the calendar and we first saw the... Uh, sealed queen cell on August 15th. That's the day that uh, we went in there and uh, we took some honey off of them and we solved that queen cell. So using B math, that means that it had to be about the 7th when the queen was started. Then if we uh, go back to do more bee math, eight days after we saw that sealed queen cell should be the day that she should hatch. Now there's a little plus or minus there, but that should be roughly the 23rd, which I believe is the day we went in there expecting to find a open queen cell and we didn't. Um, but that might be the plus or minus one thing that we we're talking about. So today is the 30th. It's uh, well past the 16 days. So we're going to go in the hive today and we are going to look for that open queen cell. And uh, it might yet still be too early for any signs of laying, but we're going to check for that too. We want to make sure there's no queen there. Okay, this bar basically is a spacer because this bar is built so thick. Let's get you a little bit closer in here. Okay, so what we're looking for on these early frames is um, honey stores, make sure they're doing okay that way, uh, pollen, and any signs of a laying queen. That one is honey. And I forgot to uh, 
bring my marker again. It's honey and nectar. It's full of nectar. Honey and nectar. Honey, nectar, and pollen. I guess I should, uh, I guess I should really be kind of watching for a virgin queen, too. It's all uh, honey and, and uh, nectar. That one was honey, nectar, and pollen. Honey, nectar, and pollen again. Now this bar is the bar that had the sealed queen cells. Now, if it was a viable queen, it should have hatched by now, no questions asked. So if it's not hatched, the hive is queenless. Queen cells, so they have hatched. So we have a queen in here, or the potential for a queen in here. This was the bar that we gave them from hive face, and I thought I saw I thought I saw something that looked like a queen in it. Must have been a drone. All right. No eggs. There is just a little bit of brood left to hatch, and that is the last of it, and that is from um, high face. This is full of pollen. That uh, bar was full of pollen, nectar, and honey. I've not seen any eggs, but 
I really didn't expect to. For all I know, she's out on a mating flight right now. This one is pretty heavy. It's really solid band of pollen through here and uh, quite a bit of nectar on top. Honey, nectar. All right, I'm gonna look at a couple more. There's only three bars left. This one's really heavy. It's full of nectar. All right. Tell you the you can really tell goldenrod honey is in because it you can smell it. <laughs> goldenrod does not smell all that great. The honey is a dark honey, it's fantastic tasting, but it uh, it does smell. All right, as we're putting this back, we went through it. We did not find any signs of a queen. We did see that uh, the queen cells were open, so they hatched. Um, with BMAF, we expected that a little while ago. So we also were pretty sure we were not gonna see any laying just yet. That is probably on tap for us next week, hopefully. And that is only if it's the spacer bar, full size spacer bar. And as I, as I was saying, we will hopefully expect to find some eggs next week. That is, if she uh, was able to successfully uh, go out on her booty call run and uh, meet some nice, friendly local drones. Want to show her a good time. Hopefully she got that, and then able to get back to her hive without uh, finding the wrong hive and without a bird deciding she looked like a tasty snack. So that's going to be it for today. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps us quite a bit and we do appreciate it. If you haven't yet, why not subscribe? It doesn't cost you anything, and it really means a lot to me. Um, go ahead and share this video with uh, your friends, family, neighbors, neighbor's dog, whatever it takes. It really helps out, too. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.